It was a birthday celebration for the ages. The grand hall was adorned with vibrant decorations, and the centerpiece was a magnificent cake with 90 candles, each representing a year of a remarkable life. Chief Gabriel Igbenedion, the Esima of Benin Kingdom, turned 90 years young. His life has been a tapestry of achievements, woven with threads of wisdom, leadership, and philanthropy. Family, friends, and dignitaries from across Nigeria gathered to honor this influential figure. The room was filled with notable personalities, each eager to pay their respects and celebrate the legacy of Chief Igbenedion. The atmosphere was electric, filled with music, laughter, and well wishes. A live band played traditional tunes and the dance floor was alive with joyous movements, reflecting the vibrant culture of the Benin Kingdom. Little did anyone know, an unexpected turn of events would transform the joyous occasion into a powerful moment of reflection and reconciliation. The air was thick with anticipation as whispers spread through the crowd. Adams Oshiamhol, the former governor of Edo State, stood before the esteemed guests. His presence commanded attention, and the room fell silent as he prepared to speak. He had a message for the man of the hour. It was a message that carried the weight of history and the promise of a new beginning. It was a message that would echo far beyond the Grand Hall. The audience listened intently, aware that they were witnessing a moment that would be remembered for years to come. Oshiomhol, with humility evident in his voice, issued a public apology to Chief Igbenadion. His words were carefully chosen, each one a step towards mending a fractured relationship. He sought forgiveness for past grievances, acknowledging the pain his words and actions had caused. The sincerity in his voice was palpable, and the audience could feel the weight of his remorse. This unexpected gesture hung in the air, momentarily silencing the celebratory mood. The room was filled with a profound silence, as everyone absorbed the significance of the moment. It was a moment of raw emotion and undeniable significance. Faces in the crowd reflected a range of emotions, from surprise to empathy, as they witnessed this act of contrition. The apology was not just a personal matter between two men, it was a public acknowledgement of past mistakes and a step towards healing and unity. It was a powerful testament to the importance of forgiveness, reconciliation, and the enduring spirit of African culture. The event highlighted the strength of community and the deep-rooted traditions that bind people together, even in times of conflict. As the evening progressed, the mood gradually shifted back to celebration. People mingled, shared stories, and reflected on the day's events. The apology had added a layer of depth to the celebration, making it a night to remember. Chief Igbenedian, with a smile on his face, embraced the moment. Surrounded by loved ones, he exemplified grace and wisdom, showing that true leadership lies in the ability to forgive and move forward. The night concluded with a spectacular display of fireworks, lighting up the sky in a dazzling array of colors. It was a fitting end to a day that had been both celebratory and transformative. As the guests departed, the Grand Hall, now quiet and empty, stood as a silent witness to the day's events. It was a reminder that even in the midst of celebration, there is always room for reflection and growth. The dawn of a new day over the Benin Kingdom symbolized a new beginning. The celebration had not only honored a great man, but had also paved the way for a future built on understanding and unity. Adams Oshiamhol's words were heavy with remorse. His voice trembled as he began to speak, the weight of his past actions clearly visible on his face. Igbenedian is like a father to me, he admitted, his voice thick with emotion. The bond they shared was evident, and the pain of his past mistakes seemed to haunt him. He acknowledged the respect and reverence due to the elder statesman. Oshiomhol's tone was filled with a deep sense of respect and admiration for Igbenedian's legacy. He spoke of Igbenedian's contributions to Edo State. The former governor's achievements were numerous, and Oshiomhola highlighted them with genuine appreciation. I was a governor for eight years, he reflected, his mind seemingly drifting back to those days. The challenges, the triumphs, and the mistakes all seemed to play out in his mind. I have come to realize that the only person who has never offended anyone is the one who has never achieved anything, Oshiamhol confessed. His admission was a powerful reminder of the human condition. His words were a poignant reminder that we all make mistakes. No one is immune to errors, and it is through these mistakes that we learn and grow. We are all capable of causing hurt, even unintentionally. Oshiamhol's apology was specific. He did not shy away from the details of his past actions. He expressed regret for derogatory remarks he had made about Chief Igbenedian and his family. The pain in his voice was palpable as he recounted his past words. 
he acknowledged the impact of his words. Words have power, and Oshiomhol seemed to understand this deeply now. He admitted that his earlier actions were not befitting of their relationship. The bond they shared deserved more respect and care. As I stand before you today, Oshiomhol declared, I want to publicly ask for your forgiveness. His voice was steady, but the emotion behind it was unmistakable. I have come to realize the errors of my ways, and I seek your pardon. His plea was heartfelt, a genuine request for reconciliation. His plea resonated deeply within the hall. The audience was moved, their faces reflecting the gravity of the moment. Oshiom Hol's journey of redemption was a powerful testament to the strength of humility and the importance of seeking forgiveness. The audience's reaction was a mix of empathy and understanding. Many nodded in agreement, while others wiped away tears, touched by the sincerity of his words. As he concluded his speech, Oshiom Hol looked hopeful. The weight of his past seemed lighter, and the possibility of a renewed relationship with Igbenadian seemed within reach. The hall erupted in applause, a standing ovation that signified not just acceptance, but a collective hope for healing and moving forward. Oshiom Hol's plea for forgiveness was more than just words. It was a step towards mending broken ties and building a better future. The relationship between Adams Oshiomhol and Chief Gabriel Igbenadian was complex. It was a relationship that had weathered its share of storms. They were once political allies. Both men hailed from Edo State. They shared a common goal of improving the lives of their people. Their paths diverged during Oshiomhol's tenure as governor. Political differences emerged, leading to public disagreements and a strained relationship. The once cordial bond between them frayed, becoming a source of tension within the state. Oshiomhol's apology acknowledged this complicated history. It recognized the hurt that had been inflicted. In many ways, it was an attempt to bridge a divide that had grown wider over time. It was a chance to heal old wounds and rebuild a connection that had been fractured by political maneuvering and personal ambition. Their story is not unique. It reflects the often turbulent nature of politics, where alliances shift and personal relationships are tested amidst the pursuit of power and influence. Section 4. The Power of Forgiveness, A Bridge Over Troubled Waters Forgiveness is a powerful act. It is an act of courage, humility, and grace. It is not about condoning wrongdoing. It is about releasing the grip of anger, resentment, and bitterness. It is about choosing to move forward, not weighed down by the burdens of the past. Oshiam Hull's apology was a testament to the transformative power of forgiveness. It was a recognition that holding on to grudges serves no purpose other than to perpetuate pain and division. By seeking forgiveness, he took a courageous step towards healing and reconciliation. Chief Igbenedion, in a display of remarkable generosity, accepted Oshiam Hull's apology. He embraced him warmly, a gesture that spoke volumes. It was a powerful reminder that forgiveness is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of strength, compassion, and a willingness to move beyond past transgressions. Their exchange was a testament to the human capacity for growth, understanding, and forgiveness. Section 5. Humility and Healing Oshiom Hol's gesture inspires. Adams Oshiom Hol's public apology was an act of profound humility. In a world where political figures often shy away from admitting their mistakes, Oshiom Hol's gesture stood out as a beacon of integrity and courage. It takes immense strength to admit wrongdoing, especially on such a public stage. The vulnerability he displayed was not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to his strength of character and his commitment to doing what is right. His willingness to swallow his pride and seek forgiveness spoke volumes about his character. It showed that he values truth and reconciliation over maintaining a facade of infallibility. It demonstrated a capacity for self-reflection and a genuine desire to mend broken bridges. This kind of introspection is rare in the political arena, where admitting fault can often be seen as a liability. This act of humility resonated deeply with the audience. People from all walks of life could see themselves in his actions, understanding that everyone makes mistakes and that seeking forgiveness is a universal human experience. It served as a powerful reminder that we are all capable of making mistakes. What truly defines us is how we respond to those mistakes, whether we choose to ignore them or confront them head on. It is through acknowledging our shortcomings and seeking forgiveness that we can truly grow and evolve as individuals. This process of self-improvement is essential for personal development, 
and for fostering stronger, more meaningful relationships. The image of Oshiumhol kneeling before Chief Igbenedian, seeking his forgiveness, is an enduring one. It is a powerful visual representation of humility and respect, especially in a culture that places high value on honor and dignity. It is a testament to the power of humility and the importance of seeking reconciliation. This act not only mended a personal rift, but also sent a broader message about the importance of unity and understanding in our communities. It is a lesson that transcends politics, culture, and social standing. The principles of humility, forgiveness, and reconciliation are universal and can be applied in various aspects of life, from personal relationships to professional environments. It is a universal message of hope and healing. In a world often divided by differences, acts like these remind us of our shared humanity and the potential for positive change. Oshiomhol's actions serve as an inspiration to us all. They encourage us to look within ourselves, to recognize our own faults, and to take the necessary steps to make amends. They remind us that it is never too late to seek forgiveness, to mend broken relationships, and to choose the path of healing and reconciliation. This is a powerful message that can lead to stronger, more compassionate communities and a more harmonious world.